Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, this is MBA Never Broke Again. So today we'll be looking at uh, NASDAQ and what's been happening uh, the past few days. Uh, so today's date is the 27th of April. Uh, we'll be catching out on the sale that we recently saw or the trend, the downtrend that's been happening. So I'm just going to show you how or from which point I was looking at NASDAQ and uh, this is my Google Drive. So this was the analysis for, for NASDAQ. As you can see, uh, we had a corrective uh, movement around these areas and initially it was a downtrend. So it was just a continuation of the downtrend. So, um, NASDAQ has been selling for quite some time now, as the screenshot is from the 20th of April, so exactly seven days ago, a week ago. So, and this is how it looks. Hold on. So this is the outcome of NASDAQ. As you can see, this was the corrective structure that we're looking at at that time. Um, we predicted the continuation for the down trend. And as you can see, that's what's been happening for the past seven days. So I'm quickly going to jump into my trading view and break everything down, show you guys what what, uh, what this means exactly with uh, all these lines and everything. So let's jump into our trading view. So the first thing that you should do is with NASDAQ, you don't have to scale up to the daily time frames and everything, but then you can if it is necessary. But in this case, we're just going to jump straight from the hourly time frame. Yes, sir. Uh, the first thing that I do with uh, basically every pair is just check my highest highs and lowest lows. So that was... You can see it was even a double top, which uh, uh, it signified this downtrend because people saw this double top and just sold it off. So that is our highs and these are lows. So you can see we have uh, NASDAQ channeling around these uh support and resistant areas so we we took our trade based off those concepts okay it was a double top meaning the price is gonna go down and the support was basically uh, where we predict that the market would turn or possibly turn because it doesn't have to turn it can just continue but that is where we would have pulled out for, for from the cells that were presented by these uh, corrective phases so the time I analyzed the market was around these areas around these areas so as you can see Okay, let me just remove it. So I'm just quickly gonna grab that horizontal line. And then you can see we had quite a resistance at this area, meaning the price was going sideways here. As you can see, we had quite a few touches, uh, meaning this whole zone right here is a correction since we had a nice impulse followed by a very flat correction so remember 
the corrections that are relatively flat compared to other flags or corrections they have the most uh, significance so you shouldn't avoid these kind of flat um, corrections you should pay uh, attention to them because they are the ones that are rather easier to trade so that was that so we have our support right there of our structure or correction so remember what the concept of the one two three touch formation where the third touch has the most uh, um, confluence so you can see that this was our first touch uh, just hold on that was our first touch this was our second touch and around these areas we had the third touch before the market sold off to the downside so remember for us to capture this trade we anticipated the third touch uh, as you can see it was around these areas this was the third touch where we anticipated the whole sell so just of those few elements uh it was enough for us to be confident that the market was going to sell but at that point we still had like to wait for confirmations and and so on so uh we can scale down to the 30 minute time frame and you can see we had the structure right here and just like that so you can see once the price got to the third touch of this main uh, corrective structure you had another series of uh, three touches within the smaller structure which was the first touch right here second touch and the third one so just look at what the third touch presented it presented a nice uh rejection bar so i'm not gonna get into detail about candlesticks and what they mean and reversal so um but we had a, a reversal candlestick right here which gave a very good signal to go to the downside so and that was basically the third touch because this was the first one second and third and the price just sold off so with that said uh if the confirmation was not enough you could have used the uh, the hidden uh, shoulders pattern as you can see you had a clean head and shoulders with uh, rather equal shoulders and the head is uh, you can see it's prominent uh, protruding to the upside uh, surpassing the level of the shoulders so uh, it was quite easy to spot out so you just had so much uh, evidence of uh, the price going to the downside and a huge a huge impulse followed um, from that point here so basically the trade would have been going as such but then if you had missed this whole structure right there uh, you can see the price formed a huge impulse and then followed by a correction so that correction was basically a second entry for for Nasdaq so you can see you had uh, significant uh, touches so you can scale down to the 15 minute time frame so about 
indices you can really use small time frames without even worrying about how uh, much significance they hold because uh, even if you're in like the five minute time frame uh, your structure will probably still be uh, valid so you had this correction here but then with the second touch uh, second entries you must really pay uh, attention because now your scale of uh, profit it's very limited as compared to you entering back up there which you double the scale now and the price will never go back to this uh, entry point because that was the initial one which means it's the safest one uh, so the price had to fully develop and finish the whole uh, trade for you to uh, okay now the trade is completed and um, I can close it without even worrying about stop losses or whatever but then once you miss the initial one and take the second one you can see the price really try to go back to your entry as it bought until these areas which was very close to to your entry but then i'm pretty sure if you had like said if you were uh, trailing your trade uh you would have been kicked out uh, with decent profits though so you can see the initial trade is the most important one because now you are not in danger of being kicked out even if you're like stop trailing and stuff uh, so that was the whole trade with uh, nasdaq um, it was not very complicated this is what i like about this trade specifically because it was easily uh well put out and because usually nasdaq it doesn't have such solid structures so for you to see a solid structure with nasdaq you you must really pay attention and uh, just try to capitalize off it because such uh, occasions hardly occur because it's very volatile and it might seem uh, quite difficult to interpret but then this time around we had such a beautiful structure with very visible uh, corrections as you can see corrective behavior corrective behavior corrective behavior and it was uh, quite easy to to spot out as long as you know the concepts and the principles of the whole impulse uh, correction movement and yeah that was it for today's video um regarding usdt it also moved similar similar in in a way i think but i was really paying close attention to nasdaq so uh that is it for today's video make sure you like subscribe uh tune in we just reached